It's crazy to think that there are still things we can discover about how horrible the pandemic was. People revealing more and more behind the scenes information from inside of the initial response, including Chris Christie, who you're seeing right there. He, of course, got COVID and was hospitalized, spent a week in an ICU. And he recently said that when he was hospitalized with COVID back in October of 2020, President Donald Trump called to make sure that Chris Christie didn't plan on blaming him for the infection. Trump apparently made the call, and this is not a joke, while he himself was also hospitalized at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center <laughs> with COVID. I just love that they were both hospitalized for COVID when this happened. So how did the pandemic go? Not great, not great. Uh, Trump was apparently concerned about the optics of Christie's hospitalization, apparently unconcerned about the optics of his own hospitalization. Anyway, Christie recalled Trump asking him, are you going to say you got it from me? <laughs> now, notably, we don't know if he got it from Trump, but we do know that Trump was related to him getting it. They were holding all of these big events, like happily, blissfully not wearing masks and not abiding by any of the standards for you know, social distance and all that. And so far as I remember, Christie never blamed Donald Trump for him getting COVID, even in this interview, he doesn't appear to blame him for it, but he does talk up how horrible the experience was and that he hopes people don't experience it like he did. Francesca, what do you think? Yeah, I love, I mean, obviously Trump called to save his own ass and he was like, are you gonna blame me? Cause I'm gonna blame you. So <laughs> I just, cause like if you if you weren't gonna blame me, like we can't both blame one another. Uh, like it just, uh, <laughs> and, and actually, if I remember the timeline, and maybe I'm totally wrong, I thought Chris Christie was uh, hospitalized and got COVID first, and then Trump got COVID. But I, I, I that, that's the way I remember it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't. I think just that my Trump my joy. Gave him COVID. I remember yeah. we kept on swiping closer and closer, um, you know, to to the real throne there, and uh, we finally mm -hmm. got there. Uh, we meaning uh, the Wuhan lab, um, because I am I have been working. Oops. You got paid by Fauci for several years. Uh, um, you know, it's been a year. I should probably just out and out with it. Yes, I was, yeah. and the money was good. Look, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Our and producers reminding us he was in the hospital. Yeah, so I, I think he was in the ICU for at least seven days in total isolation. He might have been in the hospital for longer. Um, but anyway, look again, as with all of these revelations, like that. Like Jonathan Carl sat on the hang Mike Penn stuff for six months or so. Christie's sitting on this for a lot longer. Like how worried Trump was that he would be blamed for it. And what do you know? Now that we're way out of that situation, we're way past the election. Christie is coming up with criticisms of Trump. By the way, that go beyond just COVID. He recently blamed Trump's rhetoric about the stolen election for the January 6th insurrection. He's saying it wasn't just one speech, it was speeches and meetings and tweets and videos and all of that month after month that eventually led to the insurrection and he does he does blame Trump for that. So finally, you know, I guess he can criticize Trump a little bit to some extent this far out from the election. Oh god, these just these these shades of goon, you know, and like, yeah, yay, slowest clap ever for Chris Christie for saying and acknowledging that yes, Trump did stoke and support essentially an insurrection. Yeah, okay, cool, man. Yeah, are you you know, what's next for you, buddy? You gonna try and win the nomination of the Republican Party? No, you're not gonna get it. Uh you and Liz Cheney and everyone else, you know, you'll get some kudos from centrist corporate Dems. Uh, on news media, and even us will just, you know, slow clap for you. But stop trying oh, to pull yourself. Hold up. Yeah. You think that's why we're talking about this? Did you see the next graphic? No, because even this guy who's like, he, like, I'm not saying he gave me COVID, but maybe he gave me COVID. And also, he definitely did the insurrection. Ooh, look at me. When asked, whether he would support Trump in 2024, he says, let's see who he is and what he says and how he conducts himself. <laughs> you just blamed him for an insurrection and even you, tough guy Chris Christie, you're like, well, I mean, I might vote for him. There's no tough guys, there's no tough I mean, guys anymore. He didn't really try to kill me directly. <laughs> yeah, no. It was just a side effect of his complete incompetence and not caring about human life. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Um. Look, here's the thing. 
it's it, it is revealing though that Trump did does show a little bit of awareness, self awareness. You know, because again, we all doubt whether he has object permanence, whether he knows, you know, how when something disappears, it's actually you know not gone forever. But like, <laughs> he is showing here that he knows that he knows damn well that a good portion, maybe half a million people of the 760,000 who died of COVID, that those bodies are on his watch. That he was the one, and I know we're gonna get into it more, but he was the one who downplayed this virus. And not only did it kill people that he didn't know, and he didn't care about, and he used his pawns, it, it killed people who's, who were very, very close to him. It killed his bishops and his you know whatever else in chess makes sense. But you know, Herman nice. Cain. And and Chris Christie nearly killed Chris Christie. So yeah. again, like he understands that. And so what about Democrats? Do we understand that? Or do they understand that? The ones in power, the leadership, enough to hold the Trump administration accountable for the blood that is on their hands. Yeah. And well, by the way, remember, Melania got it too. Like it is difficult to conceive of humans more insulated from COVID. Um, like many, many regular working Americans. No matter how much they tried to protect themselves, had to interact. They're forced to. And so many of them got sick despite making all the right moves. Think about how irresponsible Trump had to be inside of his multiple layers, bubbles, shells of protection from COVID that he still got it and gave it to a whole bunch of people. But anyway, you are right that a lot of the blame goes on him. I'm gonna be wondering the rest of my life. How how the share of the blame should be distributed between Trump and right wing media? Because I feel like right wing media really pressured Trump to be as bad as he could be in that area. But these are philosophical concerns. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.